Okay, I wanted to record this specifically for Daz to Blender. So I'm just starting to play around with this. And for those of you who you know use Daz Studio, you know you know that there's this Daz to Blender plugin. And if you're on a Mac, then it's not obvious how to install this in my experience. So I'll just show you real quick. So I just loaded up some random character here and I want to go into, uh, well, assuming you've installed Daz to Blender, you can go to File, Send to, and you'll see this Daz to, Plen to Blender pop up, right? And select one character. Okay, so select my character. Send to Daz to Blender. So this part here, the the part that's confusing is this blender plugin installer so it says you know select your version of blender but like i have daz 3. Point, or sorry blender 3.5 so it's not on the list so what do you do well what i've done is i click on custom add on path and then you click install plugin and it says, because I've already done this, let's see if it, what it does this time. Essentially, it should give you like a path here where it's like, this is where it supposedly wants to try to find Blender. Like it thinks that Blender is going to be inside this application support folder, but it's not. So what I do is actually choose your desktop and then, so I just chose desktop, I created a new folder, called it this, and then select choose. So after you do that, it'll basically say some error like, you know, this this um, is not in the right, okay, let me just do this again, let's see. So D2B, create, and then choose. And it says this. It's like this is not uh, you know properly configured or whatever. Do you sure you want to do this? You know, do you want to try to find the correct folder or you ignore it? I say ignore. And then it goes ahead and, and quote unquote installs the add-on. What it, what's just doing is it's saving those add-on files to that folder. So if I cancel out of this go down here and now I have um, I have both of these so here's the new one I just installed and then what you see is it creates an add-ons folder and then it creates these files in it so what we need to do is we need to find blenders add-on folder so where the heck is that well the way that you do it or the way that I've done it is I go into applications folder you click on right click on blender show package contents then you go into the contents resources and then here's the version I have so I'm in 3.5 and this is where let's see I think scripts there we go and then add-ons so this is where the add-ons are supposed to live. So what I do is take that folder that's inside of the add-ons and you just click and drag it into here. So now Blender has what it needs. So now if I click on this and I go to, where is Blender? Do I not have it? here I haven't saved it okay so we open back up applications folder I'm just gonna start a blender I'm gonna save it keep in dock so now inside of blender and this is 3.5.1 I am going to click on what is it file preferences sorry edit preferences add-ons and then if we search for daz 
there is our thing. You click the checkbox, and you may need to restart this. I can't remember, but then you go over to this little tiny uh, arrow, and this is now where we can import characters. So I don't really know how to do this piece of it. Uh, we can try it really quickly. If we said uh, file send to Dest to Blender, I believe we're supposed to select these, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, we've already installed our plugin, and so these settings likely need to be adjusted and saved. I have no idea. But let's just click accept. It says sending to Blender. And it looks like it's doing some stuff with the feet there, maybe adjusting the pose. Export phase complete, switch to bent, switch to blender. Okay, great. So let's go over to Blender. And I know you're supposed to delete this guy. So select that box and delete it. And then you click import. So this supports Genesis 3.8 and 8.1. And anyway, so I just click on this top one. And I'm sure there's settings here, but select that, select import. Oh, why is that giving a 500? Okay. It needs permissions, I guess. That's fine. Let's see what happens. So, so now that, I mean, this is, this is not really a tutorial about how to do this correctly. Um, mostly I just wanted to make this to show how to install the Daz to Blender add-on. Um, so I'm curious if folks, like at this point, once you have your character here, I believe that there's like a, some rigging that needs to take place. And so I need to sort of figure out how to do that because the idea is then to sort of uh, animate from here so I'll be looking to that but if there's anyone else out there that's sort of figured this out or is going through this let me know and uh, we'll figure some stuff out hopefully that was useful thanks